I guess we're back? Yeah. We need to get moving. Right! I'll make you proud, Dad. Just wait. It's good to see you again. Allow me to escort you to fellow Bugenhagen. Please, this way. <laughs> Hook, line, and sinker. Those undead suckers actually think we're gonna give them back their materia! They called it their salvation or whatever. But to me, it sounded more like something with the potential to wreak some serious havoc. Nope. No way in hell are we letting them have it. Can't let him have it either. Him? Sephiroth. Did no one else sense him? <gasps> no. You're the resident expert. If you say Sephiroth was there, I'll believe you. Wait, wait, wait. So, are you saying Sephiroth's after the Black Materia too? Probably. Better to assume he is. Well, come on! Let's go, let's go! Can't let anyone get between me and my Materia! say I know about it exactly. Not directly, anyway. What's that supposed to mean? I just recall some document or other discussing its existence. If we can get to a Shinra terminal, I should be able to find it again. Terminal, huh? They set any up here? I think so. But I bet old Boogie will know for sure. You might have returned to the planet. Oh, come on. We both know you didn't need to worry about me. After all, I am the son of Seto the Watcher. Forgive me. But if I recall correctly, Shinra should have set up a transmission terminal here in Cosmo Canyon, so... Where is it? Oh. oh what did become of that thing? Ah, yes. Now I remember. <laughs> I was so fascinated by the technology it employed, uh, I did some tinkering. Some tinkering, I say, though it was quite a lot. But now it serves a decidedly more practical purpose. You've got to be kidding me! Oh, well, do you know about a Setra temple? A temple, you say? If you mean a place where they worshipped gods, none exist. The Setra never engaged in such practices. I... didn't know that. Maybe it was referred to as such by someone ignorant of their culture. If instead it is a site of importance to the Setra that you seek, texts do speak of one, and of the pains taken to conceal it. So, it does exist? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Perhaps, though I know not where it is. Huh? And even should you find it, I would urge caution. They were a star-crossed people. To follow in their footsteps is to court tragedy. <sighs> However, the rewards may yet outweigh the risks. 
you must bring every one of your senses to bear. For then no secret will elude you, however well hidden. And when you return home, I hope you'll share your discoveries with me. Fellow Bugenhagen! What is it? I'm a little busy here. Another man in a black robe has come. What should we do? Well now, a friend of yours? Where'd you see him? Oh, uh, the village gate. We should check it out. Yeah. I suppose I ought to seal the door once again. <laughs> the workings of our planet are most fascinating, no? Ah, I suppose I ought to seal the door once again. Planet bless us. Planet bless us. That robed man is at the village gate. One of my colleagues is tending to him for now. That robed man is at the village gate. Blessings of the planet be upon you. Are you in need of guidance?
Nanaki! Is this man okay? He is, albeit rather weak. I'm not sure why, though. I know Mako poisoning when I see it, and this isn't it. Nebo. I'm... Nebo. I'm... Nebo. I'm... Ain't that... Ratifa and I grew up. Ah! Oh, of course! Nibelheim had a terminal. I'd bet my whiskers on it. It, uh, had a terminal. Cloud, remember when you told Gein attack back there? That I might be weird, but you can trust me. Hey, well, even if you were lying, I'm going to prove to you that you can trust me. That I'm on your side. It's not that. We should go. Hey! Wait, you're talking about heading to Nibelheim from here? There's no roads you can take far as I know. Maybe we can't go by land. But by air. Meaning we'll need smoke. Right then. Back to the airstrip we go! Cloud! Proto Relic energy signature confirmed! And relatively close to you. While the signal is on the weaker side, it may serve as a good place to start. I'll send you the coordinates right away. You just worry about getting to Nibelheim. I can look after him. You just worry about getting to Nibelheim. I can look after him. Welcome. Cosmo Canyon.
to a Bahamut variant. A variant known as Bahamut Arisen. With armored scales red as the canyon soil, and an engine born of flesh mounted on the back, its capacity for destruction far surpasses that of the original Bahamut. I see you're approaching the signal. The source appears to be somewhere in the canyon's ruins. These ruins are closely connected with the life stream, and it's thought that they were created to help guide it through the veil. I have complete faith your efforts will greatly aid our planet. These ruins are closely and it's thought that I have complete faith your efforts will greatly aid our planet. To just be in the presence of the Nanaki is such an honor. To just be in the presence of the Nanaki is such an honor. Wait, wait, wait. Yuffie's gonna take you home! made it out in time. Nothing can kill this bloom. <laughs> Clearly. Hmm? Say, where's Sonon? Um, here. Hey, you three! <gasps> Splinter Cell. W where are my manners? These guys are from Avalanche HQ. They're the ones who helped me out back in Midgar. And I don't think they need an introduction. Y'all were at the Shinra building, weren't you? Tell me, was Wedge with you? Or did you see him? <sighs> if you can tell me anything, anything at all, please. Wedge, he... I'm sorry. Don't be. Just... I need to know. After the Sector 7 plate fell, the things we saw and heard... 
all the carnage. It was hell. We wanted to help. We really did. But how? It all seemed so hopeless. That's when the call came. From the folks at Avalanche HQ. We learned it was the company that dropped the plate. And that they were gonna drop another. Unless we stopped them. HQ needed volunteers. To help storm the Shinra building. This was our chance. We knew it was the right thing to do. All of us. Wedge and I ended up being assigned to the same truck. We'll infiltrate the building via the underground parking facility. From there, we make our way up, taking each and every floor. We've lost contact with Lucia's team. I think we have to assume they're all... That's enough. First, We'll check him with Matt. On it. Let me just scooch on over here. I'm Wedge with the Splinter Sub. Uh, Barrett's crew, right? Mm -hmm. Here, uh, try one of these. It'll help you calm down. Go on, Ida! <laughs> Our team was heading upstairs to take out the president. I know what you're thinking. Avalanche doesn't do that. But when the plate fell, the rules changed. <sighs> Come on, man. Get the lead out. Don't want to be left behind. Hey, thanks for the assist. Oh, 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 help me out of here. All right, we're almost there, boys. At long last, we're going to take back our world, find the bastards who stole it, and send them to hell. Yeah. yeah. I've got friends up there who need to know we're coming. Oh, uh, sorry, but I didn't want them to get hurt, sir. <laughs> Go, I'll catch up. Right. We were all fired up, ready to fight. on become one with the life stream. I know what you thought you heard, but it was probably just the wind. <sighs> Whatever. In times past, the Cetra King defaults like these to give thanks to the life stream. There aren't many left, so we wanted to help preserve the few still standing. It felt like the least we could do, you know? For all those who return to the planet. Hey, Barrett, why don't we give them a hand? Help them spruce things up. There anything we can do for you? I don't know. Restore the planetary fonts? 
they're this region's main source of energy. And kind of like relief valves for the life stream. But when they're as busted as this one here, you can't even get close to do repairs. Mako's way too dense. So we figured we'd use a probe to fix the pods remotely. Thing is, the little guy's just too old. Probably better off in a junkyard than with us. Perhaps I can be of service? Robotics is one of my areas of expertise. Meet Robot Chadley. <laughs> or Robo Chad if you prefer something abridged. At any rate, you should now have complete control over him. Go on, ask him to do something. Do you mind if I rest my eyes for a bit? I haven't been sleeping too good since... Well, you know. Fiends are drawn to places with an excess of Mako. We just have to hope they don't get in our way. Fiends are drawn to places... We just have to hope they don't get in our way. I was convinced that robot was a worthless hunk of junk. Turns out, I just didn't know how to use them.
It's a shame the others ain't here to see this. Who says they're not? <sighs> What's that? I believe that light will lead us to another set of ruins. <laughs> and another font to fix too, I'll bet. Is it okay if we tag along? Sure, why not? Whatever beef I've got with you HQ kids, the planet's welfare takes priority. The pace around here is a lot more laid back than the hustle and bustle of Midgar. Honestly? I could get used to this. The pace around here is a lot more laid back than the hustle and... The planet is incredible. Wedge must have been one hell of a cook. Wish we could have talked more. The planet is incredible. Come on! Yeah. 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 
Spring data, I was able to locate an old Republic transmitter chip. First, look for a weathered old ship, then scour the surrounding area. I trust you'll have no trouble finding this distinctive landmark. all the mooglets for me?
this Emporium is officially open! And it's all thanks to you! There's only one more left to go! We've come so far, Kubo! I hope that you'll see it through! <laughs> Shop to your heart's content, Koopo!
the canyon's legends, Bahamut once took shelter somewhere in these lands after being severely wounded in a fierce battle. Its scarlet hue is said to represent the divine protection the Earth bestowed upon it during the entity's long convalescence.
Territory now. Rare Golem variant detected. Commencing guidance protocol. Strictly speaking, golems are not living creatures. They're soulless clay dolls, animated only by the life stream. It is thought that the ancients created them long ago with their unique technology. Though it remains unclear why they would have left their constructs in a place like this, we may never know the answer. After the disappearance of their masters, the golems fell into disrepair. Corrupted by impurities flowing through the life stream, they grew violent. Please put an end to their destructive rampage for the sake of the locals, if nothing else.
Sí, sí, 